Byline investigates the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday. New evidence has been revealed about the illegal targeting of actor Hugh Grant's phone in the notorious Plummygate row. Plummygate refers to a story published in the Mail on Sunday in 2007 under the headline Hugh, Drew and the Jealousy of Jemima. The crux of the article, which was later proved wrong, was that Mr. Grant and his then-girlfriend Jemima Khan had split after he flirted with movie star Drew Barrymore. But more crucially, and even more of a falsehood, there was a suspicion that Mr. Grant was having an affair with a plummy-voiced woman who was calling him frequently on his mobile phone. Writer Katie Nichol made five suspiciously specific references to phone calls on Mr. Grant's phone. An additional two mentions were made to switching off the device. The telltale clues are classic hallmarks of unlawful information gathering, similar to those found in at least 30 articles bylined to Katie Nichol, and possibly as many as 174 during her tenure at the Mail on Sunday. The term late night calls was often used as a euphemism by journalists to disguise the use of illegally obtained phone information such as voicemail interception and billing data. The next mention of phone activity comes in the seventh paragraph and is suspicious because it references an anonymous friend, often a sign that a showbiz story had been washed in a bid to remove obvious links to the unlawful nature of the source. Since then, the story has gone down in Fleet Street legend after it led to a huge public spat between Mr. Grant and Paul Dacre, who was then editor of the Daily Mail. But Hugh Grant was at a disadvantage in the dispute because he was not aware of Miss Nichols' secret links to hackers and blackers. Nichol and the Mail on Sunday have denied ever knowingly commissioning or engaging with unlawful activity. Click the link for the full story.